In this video today, I'm going to give you an update on how you can create uh, an HBAR wallet with no KYC, having to go to uh, the Hedera Hashgraph group and have them create a wallet, uh, that type of thing. Because I did create one a while ago, it looks like September 8th, 2020, um, and I get a lot of people that uh, request that you know I create a wallet for them, which I'm more than willing to do. Um, but it is a different look and feel now with my HBAR wallet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is visit myhbarwallet.com and then we're going to go up here and say create wallet. I'm going to demonstrate on how to do it with a ledger hardware wallet. Click on hardware, click on ledger, and then click on continue. If you click here and it says don't have an account, click here, it takes you to a page that shows you how to put the app on your uh, your ledger, the steps to go through. You can follow that if you want, uh, if you don't know how to put that onto your, um, your ledger itself. But to start with, you need to have your ledger hardware wallet, the HBAR app installed. Visit my HBAR wallet, click on create wallet, and then we're gonna say continue. Um, you gotta remember, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm logged in, yep, uh, that when you visit this page and you click continue, you need to have your um, HBAR uh, app open on your Ledger hardware wallet. So we'll click continue, and then you need to go ahead and look, and you can see in the lower right-hand corner, it says waiting for a response from hardware wallet, and right now it says export public key. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve that. And it shows the public key. And it shows this QR code. And what I need from you is this QR code. So what you can do is you can do a screenshot. Uh, I don't know, can you do save image as? Yeah. You can save it to whatever you need to. So I'm just going to uh, save it to this folder. And then I can send that out to um, to myself, basically. You're, you're going to be sending that QR code to me so that then I can do the next thing, uh, which is create an account for you. Um, when you do that, you can just visit blacklab.net. You can click, let's get rid of this. You can click help. You can put your information here. You can attach the QR code at this point, and then um, I will create an account for you, you'll get an email back, and then you can continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create the account uh, on how I do it, and I use Walla Wallet to uh, create accounts on, and since that's a, um, uh, a an iPhone app or an Android app, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll come back and show you how you can use that um, account that I create create for you to log into your uh, your wallet on myhbar.com. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see in the lower right hand corner, I, uh, I submitted the ticket that went into the system and then I did my stuff in the back end and I send you a nice little email um, giving you this account number. And this account number is what you're going to need for the next part of the process of actually logging into uh, your Hedera Hashgraph wallet, so or HBAR. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to my wallet. We're going to be here, this pro, uh, public key um, with this QR code. It's, it's much easier if you give me the QR code um, than the public key. Uh, that's what I asked for because then I can just take a picture with my, um, my iPhone and Boom, it, it's done. So what we're gonna need to do as far as the process, you can come back to this um, if you need to close it up, uh, but you just follow the same path that you did before. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have paste, and this is the account number. So we're gonna say continue, and it's gonna be verifying the account. Go back to your ledger, and it says Transa transaction summary, verify account with the particular key, the account number that it gives, 0.0.608270. So it's on my ledger, that's what I pasted in, and I say confirm, and bing, you are into your uh, Hedera wallet. 
uh, some people have had questions like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be sending stuff to Caleb and Brown or they're going to be sending it to me. Where is my receive address? And they look around like, you know, some of the other wallets out there. And this is your receive address. Um, it is not the public key string. It is this simple set of, of numbers. And um, if you are going to donate to, to help create uh, the wallet, don't send to this wallet. I just created it. Uh, I have one that's a really, really old wallet that I, I use for everything. Um, and so this is where you're going to keep things. If you want to create a wallet for other people, you can go down to tools now that you have one and you can say create. I'm not gonna go through how to do that in this, um, because most people just want a wallet to create it, but my HBAR wallet now gives you the ability to create uh, wallets for other people. You just have to send a little bit of HBAR to get that. So if you want to fund this wallet, all you would do is use this wallet address, actually use your wallet address, not this wallet address, use your wallet address that's right there. If you want to send, then you would just click on the send. Uh, some places you need a memo, click on that, uh, and then you would type the, um, the wallet address that you are sending to, and then obviously uh, the amount of HBAR and then send. So it's, it's pretty straightforward with how to uh, create a wallet. Um, you don't have to go through um, the Hedera Hashgraph group to get a wallet. You don't have to KYC if you have someone else that you know of uh, create one for you. So that's it, um, and uh, I hope that helps you out. Thanks.